As this was going on, I vocally said in the session, hey, this is the kind of stuff that will end a campaign. So I don't have an article accompanying this video. Maybe I'll write one later on. But anyway, last year I had a very difficult decision to make. I was running my second Curse of Strahd campaign, and early on it became apparent to me that the Session Zero didn't really do what I wanted it to. It didn't create group cohesion. There were very different play styles involved in the group and different goals that they wanted out of the campaign. This kind of came to a head after a few examples of people with different playstyles, some people wanted to like charge in and just see what happens, other people wanted to be very calculated, and those playstyles can coexist, but it didn't work out this time, and it came to a head in a certain event in that campaign where there's a festival. During that festival, one of the players made a very big choice that caused them to kill someone that the other players didn't see a reason for them to do that, so it seemed like they were just being chaotic. And it started to result in PvP. player versus player. As this was going on, I vocally said in the session, hey, this is the kind of stuff that will end a campaign. If you're enjoying the campaign, please stop what you're doing right now and find reasons to make it work. Me saying that in the middle of the session of what was happening did not help, unfortunately. And the head-to-head -head stuff continued. It got to a point where I said, you know, I'm gonna call the session here and let's kind of see where this goes next time. I'm gonna give it some thought. Some of the players were like, yeah, like they were talking about like why it mattered to their characters. In my head, I was like, I really don't care why your character is making you bicker with other players. That just cannot happen. It makes me as the DM not have fun. My time is too valuable. I have kids and so to sacrifice time to DM, I need to have fun. And if players are going to do this, it's just not going to work. So I thought I might need to call the campaign and just say, this is not fun anymore for me. Let's end it. Some of the players really wanted me to run this campaign. They're really looking forward to it. So I, I did not want to let them down, but I would not let myself down either. So I thought, what can I do? I came up with the idea. This doubled my work, right? But I decided to split the campaign. And I said, I'm willing to run this to the end for two different groups. Because there was kind of two schools of thought amongst the players. Two play styles, I should say. I really talked to each of them individually and said, how do you feel about this if I go this route? They thought it was noble of me to be willing to do two separate campaigns. So I said, from that point in time where we paused our campaign and I decide to split it, it's basically going to be two different realities. In one, A is the main characters, and in one, the other, B is the main characters. So this was the toughest decision because it doubled my workload, and I wasn't sure if it would work out. So it was like, am I just prolonging something that's already dead? I don't know. So it became Curse of Strahd with two characters, and Curse of Strahd with three characters. Those are pretty small groups, but Curse of Strahd with a horror campaign really worked when I did the split. The genre kind of lended to this change. I'm really glad I did it. It allowed me to get more experience running Curse of Strahd, first of all, which I enjoyed, but I also enjoyed finishing the campaign for the two groups way more than I was enjoying them all playing together. I went over expectations very clearly, I thought, in the Session Zero, but I find that players are pretty much just nodding their heads during Session Zeros and hearing kind of what they want to hear. You kind of need to get in their business about this, I think, and be like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, how do you feel about this? How are you going to play this out? And make sure everyone's going to work well together because I tried to kind of play it off a few times during like the first 10 sessions where there was friction once in a while, but instead of heeding those early signs, I let it fester and get to the point where I had to split the campaign. Be very vocal with your players about these sorts of issues and catch them early on. Don't second guess yourself. You're the DM and if you are catching on to things that are making you enjoy the game less, it's probably not just you and it's not in your head. Trust your instincts. That's basically all I wanted to say and share with you was what I think was my most difficult DM decision. What was yours? I'd like to hear about it. What are your thoughts on what I did? Would you ever split a campaign or would you have just ended it? I'm curious what you think of what I did. One of the best decisions I've done as a DM is making this YouTube channel. Subscribe on our channel so every time opal and i come out with a video you will be able to spy on us and see it in your subscription feed and be able to keep interacting with us through this youtube medium we are eager to become a community for for you to interact with you have a great adventure this weekend hopefully you don't have to end a campaign or split anything but talk to me if you're thinking about it and i'll help you through it i'll talk to you later